Hello Sinistry fans, today I will be showcasing a new Miner's Haven GUI. So this GUI has many features and the first one is auto rebirth. You can select the layout here that you want to use. I'll be using layout one Then you turn this on. <coughs> uh, you can also do a wait to skip feature so it only rebirths when uh, you, it says you, you have um, that many skips to do. And there's also an auto pulser, which which basically just automatically pulses these things uh, however many seconds after a rebirth. And there's also auto remote and auto excavator, which we don't need for this setup, but yeah. Uh, that's basically it for this first page. You can uh, create TP along with this as well, and it's fully compatible with the auto rebirth, so it'll never break. You can do both at the same time. <laughs> and auto AFK or anti AFK is always on, so you'll never be kicked as as long as you have the script executed. There's also a crate opener, which you can select which crate to open. Let's say you want to open regular boxes, you can do turn on or off clovers and then you can start opening and you'll see it start to pop up yep there it is and I'll just keep opening <laughs> anyways <clears throat> the next section is I'll turn auto rebirth off for a second so I can showcase the other parts the next section is base tweaks. Basically, you can change the upgrader size of like any upgraders on your base. All you have to do is like type in, for example, true overlord device. You don't have to type in the whole thing. You can type in like a bit of it and it's fine. And you can change one or two at the same time. This is helpful if your ores are barely missing an upgrader or if you use lock ore rotation for more consistent railgun turns then the or like the or st start missing some upgraders that it would hit normally but you can use this to fix that so let's say you wanted to do that and the upgrader size let's say 50 and then do that and see the upgrader becomes big uh, you can make this smaller too if you want and turning this off uh, resets it to its original size and this works with two at a time <coughs> The next thing is um, lock or rotation. This basically makes the ores just not not move at all in a rotational like manner. So basically, the railgun turns become 100% consistent no matter what. <laughs> and yeah, it's pretty useful, but it like makes you miss some of the upgraders sometimes, which is what this feature is helpful for. The next thing is hard avoid I don't have the item on this account but if you do and you have it placed on your layout then you type in upgraders name like kind of like how you did here and if you turn this on it teleports all of the heart of eye like portable eyeballs or whatever to like that specific upgrader so it always hits <clears throat> the next section is webhooks and these are very helpful for remaining unbanned, if you are part of the community on Minor Haven, you can uh, use this as you put your one Discord web or webhook link in here, and if you turn this on, it will send a message every time and that you rebirth with the script. And I'll put a picture of what it looks like here. And the the second one is for shinies. You can do the same link, and they'll send to the same channel or separate ones if you choose. And you can put an option of for it to ping you on <laughs> when you get a shiny. And you turn that on by this. I'll show you a picture of what that looks like too here. Alright, and <laughs> the next section is leaderboards. So a lot of high life players, or at least when I was a high life player, I was life 2.6 million before. But yeah, th this would be really helpful if you're auto farming and... You don't want to, you know, teleport to the leaderboards to look. You can just click here. 
Uh, yeah, see if, see how this one didn't work? That means the leaderboards in game are like refreshing right now, but once they're refreshed, you should be able to click this and it'll refresh. But yeah, you just gotta give it a bit, but. <clears throat> so, like, you can use this to view all eight leaderboards in the game, basically. Like most you see, and see it refresh now. So, this is here. And yeah, you can basically just see this all from the GUI. Uh, the next thing is NPCs. This one is pretty self-explanatory. You can open the Craftsman. Mass Man, it's not selling anything right now. And this, and these GUIs also work. <coughs> so you can like buy stuff from Craftsman and stuff. And the teleports are like pretty self-explanatory too. Like Mass Man is here. Our guild, uh, Daigle, teleports you straight inside of his little chamber wizard tower. Well, <coughs> should do the same thing. Messed up over there. <coughs> and Spook McDuck, same thing too. And yeah, that's basically it for that part. And layouts. This one is really cool. So, uh, in game, you usually only have three layouts, but uh, and let's say they're all filled up like they are here <coughs> and you want to save more layouts so let's say I wanted to save like these these things and like, a couple of this let's say I wanted to save that layout too so I can do <coughs> save external layout one and I'll say it's saved if it worked properly and then um, when you unload it and you want to load it again you can do this and it'll load and another cool thing about this is it saves between like rejoins so if you save a layout and you decide to leave the game join another day and it'll still be there if you press load external layout one or two whichever one you saved it to <coughs> um yeah because it saves the thing to a file in your workspace so it'll always save same with the webhook links you you for these three options you only have to put them in one time and then It'll be there forever. <laughs> and yeah, if you save again, it'll obviously override the old file. And here, the copy player, copy player base, let's say you're in a public server or a private server with a friend who has a really good setup and you have all the items needed for it. Uh, you just <laughs> type in their username, not their display name. Or like, <clears throat> even part of it should work fine. You press copy layout and it will copy the layout uh, onto your base and then you can save it to one of these or your actual layouts I'll showcase that at the end of the the video because I don't have someone in this server with me right now <laughs> the next option or page is misc these these are like walk speed and jump power sliders which are you know pretty easy to make and use the next one uh, always day or night so if you have upgraders that work better in the day or night or you just like how it looks you can use this see if I do auto day it'll switch to daytime and it should never switch back to nighttime and same with night <coughs> yeah it switches to night and explosion invisibility is so how <coughs> when you're uh, using a typical in-game railgun setup there's gonna be quite a lot of explosions like here or if you're just trying to do something and you don't want to see the explosions you can uh, turn this on and basically never worry about the explosions again uh, this section is also pretty self-explanatory <coughs> uh, this is used with the auto farm here <laughs> basically when you want it to stop rebirthing at a certain life because you don't want to get banned like I would say 50k lives a day is about the threshold if you do any more than that for like a couple of days you probably get banned but <clears throat> maybe 60k so yeah if you want to go to sleep and you just want to do a couple more you can use this type in your life number it which should show here but I have a spoofer on right now it's in the GUI too I'll show you that later so you basically type in the number here let's say like whatever and it should uh, if you have this on too and it goes over or equal to that number it will turn that off automatically same with slipstream if you want to just 
you're farming for an item or whatever that needs a slipstream this gives you a list of all the slipstreams in the game just select it and uh, you should be good to go <laughs> this one I will show in a bit because you can't reverse this unless you rejoin and <clears throat> auto presence which really is just for right now um, I will show that at the end of the video too because I don't have a present layout right now and yeah it's only for the event right now so you should probably use it fast while you can it's pretty efficient and yeah <clears throat> universe TP this one's also pretty self-explanatory <clears throat> if you teleport the, to the temple and do all the dialogue it like lets you skip the heart of void maze it just you get the heart of void badge instantly and uh, revenge for John Doe uh, there's a script built into the GUI for that when you execute it in that place which I'll show and same with um, the normal void maze and spoofer uh, is what I'm using currently so see how these all say slender and um, like you can't base you basically can't like picture which account I'm using from like stats or anything because uh, like you just can't see it it's for recording purposes only like other people in your game can still see your stats so don't use this script on public servers in character spoof this is just makes your character look like this uh, invisible base is pretty cool if you want to stream and since mods can load your setup you can just <coughs> uh, use this so even if they load your setup they won't know if it's really yours because you're streaming with this on and yeah like you just can't see your entire base even if you rebirth um, and then you load your layout again uh, it should be still invisible yeah <coughs> so uh, when you turn it off and you want it to go back to being visible you can just um, reload your setup <coughs> like that <coughs> and yeah that's about it <coughs> Uh, there's a credits page, which is, you know, the whole thing's basically made by me and Discord server. You just click this and it copies the link to your Discord or to your computer. Just paste it somewhere and join the Discord. Uh, okay, now I will showcase the auto present feature. So what you need is, um, this mine, which is from the quest and... Uh, the wrapper and just a layout that produces a present it doesn't matter what value the present is this is just to make the present value uh, bigger but it doesn't matter if it's not that big so what you do is go in misc once you have a layout like this you go here and you just press uh, turn on this toggle and it'll automatically start um, trying to <coughs> use your mind to make a present and with this, I find that a higher ore limit helps, but uh, it doesn't really matter. Like, once the presents come, then it does that, and yeah. So, I'm going to make the ore limit a little higher. One sec. Alright, there we go. <coughs> so, yeah. And... One thing to note is that the Santa thing has a cooldown feature, so you can't really use it, or you can't really spam it. It only works once every 15 seconds, but if you leave this on overnight for like one night, you'll get hundreds of presents of each type, so you'll be fine. Just leave this on for like one night. <laughs> and yeah, that's pretty much it for auto presents. Now I'll be showcasing the copy layout script. So here I have an alt account that is loaded in the game with um, a couple of iron mines on his base. We can go to it to check it out real quick. One sec. Yeah, it's right here. So <coughs> his name is Nyartos. If you want to ban him, by the way, he's life one. Uh, so yeah, see there's three basic iron mines here, so let's go back to our base. And we type in 
in in the copy thing copy layout thing type in you don't have to type it in exactly you can type in part of it and press copy layout and there it is it's that's his base and uh, it's not like on the edges like his is because that account doesn't have executive and this account does so this accounts base is bigger but the coordinates are exactly the same as that in regards to the center of the base at least so yep so now I'm gonna showcase the um, the optimized game script and the automatic John Doe script so if we execute it here uh, and we go to the optimized game and you click this it will delete all the parts except for the bases on the map and this will just help you you know reduce your lag by a lot because it doesn't render like a couple thousand probably tens of thousands of parts and yeah you can't really re reverse this unless you uh, rejoin the game so uh, the next thing is uh, the John Doe where if you teleport there uh, you don't have to teleport there using the script you can teleport there however you want but once you're there and you execute the script again then you're presented with this automatically and if you turn this on and you just wait basically once he stops talking then once the zombies spawn it should yep there it is automatically opens up your sword and you can watch them die So yeah, that's basically it for the GUI and hope you guys enjoy it. And remember, this is a uh, GUI. It's not for like beginners or whatever. It's meant to it's meant for like high life players to not get banned and cheat at the same time. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy and join the Discord server too. And just don't use it in a public server, so you don't get banned and there's no ore boost or anything in the GUI cause mods detect that super easily and you'll get banned in under two days or something or boosting so yeah enjoy <laughs>